Teilen. Accesso. Vietza. Chayu. How many of you understood all of those words? Raise your hand. Jens is amazing. He knows a lot of languages. But other than him, no one understood all of this, right? This is a problem. Have a look at this map. This is articles on English Wikipedia with a geo-coordinate. The article about the Eiffel Tower gets one dot of light on this map. The article about the Barbican Center gets one dot of light on this map, and so on. As you can see, English Wikipedia covers a lot of knowledge. The world, you can see the whole world. Now let's take a look at the same map for French Wikipedia, or Italian Wikipedia, or Greek Wikipedia, or Turkish Wikipedia. This is a pr problem. We need to fix this. If you do not speak English, we do not give you access to a lot of vital information. We need to give more people more access to more knowledge. Now, my question to you is, how do we do this? What do we need to do to give more people more access to more knowledge? We need to translate Wikipedia. OK, what else? We need more money. <laughs> yes. We have to respect people more, yes. And one very important thing we have to do is innovate. Innovation means delving into unknown fields. Innovation means stretching your comfort zone. Innovation means challenging the status quo. Innovation means disruption. Innovation means sleepless nights. Innovation means facing up to fears, your own and others. And innovation means being able to imagine what doesn't even exist yet. And yes, innovation is painful. We've seen this again and again over the past months, even years in Wikimedia. And Wikidata is certainly no exception to this. But in order to give more people more access to more knowledge, we need to innovate. And let's take a look back 10 years at English Wikipedia. It certainly couldn't rival Encyclopedia Britannica. But oh man, can it today. And the very same thing will happen with Wikidata. Now, some of you are probably wondering, what is Wikidata? You've heard of Wikipedia. Wikimedia Commons, maybe. Let me tell you. Wikidata is a central knowledge base that holds data like the date of birth of the Queen of England, the number of inhabitants of London, the geo-coordinate of the Barbican Center, and much, much more. This data is then immediately made available to nearly 300 Wikipedias, over 200 sister projects, and anyone else out there who wants to make use of a large amount of useful structured data about our world. Now let's have a look at some of the things that Wikidata already makes possible today. It's a really excellent tool to scale our efforts. We have a decline in editors. And one thing we need to do is to enable the editors that we have to be more effective. And Wikidata does exactly that. It allows our editors to be more effective. Imagine you're writing an article about the London Eye in Gaelic language, which does not exist yet. Wikidata can already provide you with a lot of very useful information to get you started. Like, for example, when it was open to the public, 
where exactly it is, and links to images about it. One important piece of information that is still missing in Wikidata right now is the name of the architect of the London Eye. The moment someone adds this to Wikidata, it immediately becomes available to your article. But it also immediately becomes available to all other Wikipedias. But why stop there? Think bigger. It also immediately becomes available to all sister projects, like Wikivoyage, for example. But again, why stop at the borders of our movement? Think bigger. The moment you add it to Wikidata, it immediately becomes available to anyone else out there to use. Another thing Wikidata is helping us with is recruiting new editors. Since the start of the project, 10,000 new people who have never edited on any other Wikimedia project before have edited on Wikidata. We've opened up a whole new green field for them. How do we do this? For example, with little games. We have one, for example, that shows you the excerpt of a Wikipedia article and asks you, is this a person or not? Now, this is trivial for sure, but knowing that John Henry is not a person is important information that helps us keep our knowledge base clean. Another important thing we need to think about is reliability. We need to give more people more access to more knowledge, but the knowledge we, need to we give them access to should, of course, be correct. And every single day, stones get thrown in our way. Take, for example, Ben. He's a 15-year-old sitting in his high school's computer lab, bored, and changes Lisa Meitner's date of birth to 1818. This makes this amazing lady 150 years old. Well, Ben, I don't think so. Wikidata makes it a piece of cake to find such unlikely people over the age of 120, for example. Or how about Lego being married to Natalie Portman? Probably not. <clears throat> Wikidata, again, makes it easy to find such unlikely marriages or other incorrect data like this. And we can do even more in the future. We can check against external databases and flag differences for review. Or take sourcing. The moment someone adds a reliable source to a data point on Wikidata, it immediately becomes available for, to everyone. Now, granted, Wikidata does not have enough sources yet, but neither do most Wikipedias. With Wikidata, we have the chance to change this and raise the quality of our content across the board. Through all this, Wikidata is already allowing us today to give more people more access to more knowledge. But we can do so much more in the future. Have you ever tried finding a good image to illustrate a blog post, for example? Yes. I have two. I was looking for an image to illustrate friendship. So I started searching for friend, for Freund, the German word for friend. And I get back about 1,000 results. Most of them completely useless for me because they show people named Freund. OK, I go on and search for friend instead. I get back 14,000 results. That's much better. But the question is, how do I find the amazing ones? How do I find that one picture that really fits my blog post? Being the perfectionist I am, I went through them for hours and hours until I finally found, found the right one. And then I needed another fifth, two minutes and 15 clicks to put it into my blog, including proper attribution and everything. This is the state of Wikimedia Commons today. 
We can do so much better than this. With the help of Wikidata for Wikimedia Commons, we can make <coughs> we can make finding create multimedia content, no matter what language you speak, very easy. And we can build tools that allow you to reuse our content in a license compliant way and have that take less clicks, less time, and be less of a hassle. Now, being able to reuse multimedia content easily and finding it, no matter what language you speak, is already pretty cool, right? But we can do more. What if we had a powerful machine-readable dictionary? We could do automatic translations. And that's exactly what we will be able to do with Wikidata support for Wiktionary. Now, we're quite a bit away from actually doing this, but let me give you a glimpse into that future. Have a look at this delicious English restaurant menu. How about we switch it to German? Or Korean? This is already possible today, thanks to Wikidata, anywhere on the web. We can do even more. When people come to Wikipedia, they often have a very specific question, like, where was Charles Darwin born? With Wikidata, we are able to build the tools to be able to understand this question and formulate a meaningful answer. Now, we are quite some time away from being able to answer more complex questions. But again, let me give you a glimpse into that future. Where was Charles Darwin born? I assume you mean the British naturalist, author of On the Origin of Species, by means of natural selection, Charles Darwin was born in the Mount Shrewsbury. This... <laughs> this is already possible today, thanks to Wikidata. And in the coming months and years, we will be able to build so much more. To build all these innovative tools and to give more people more access to more knowledge, we need people like you to be a part of it. And so many of you are already on board. Take a guess how many people made an edit on Wikidata in the month of July? 10,000? Any other guesses? 400? OK. One more? One million. One million. That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> We're not quite there yet, but maybe next year. <laughs> 13,000. 13,000 people made an edit on Wikidata just in the month of July. And here are some of those amazing people. <laughs> I want to say thank you for your dedication, your commitment, and your courage to try new things. It's because of you that Wikidata is innovative, getting better every day, and steadily moving forward. To sum it up, over the last two years, we've built a central knowledge base that helps us to make the sum of all human knowledge machine-readable, widely accessible, and easily shareable. Our world was rather dark, and this is Wikidata today. I have a dream. Yes, Wikimedians, I have a dream. And my dream is that when we meet again in one year in Mexico City, that all of those maps I showed you, thanks to our continual work and with the help of Wikidata, will light up just like this one.
this will be a challenging but very important journey. Won't you join us? <laughs>